Hawk fans, welcome to another edition of Take 5 here on St. Joseph's All Access, SJUHawks.com. We know you've been waiting and waiting and waiting, and it's finally here, the start of both men's and women's basketball practice on the SJU campus. We figured at this point to kind of feed your appetite or at least get it started for SJU basketball. We talked to one of the members of the women's team. Our guest on Take 5 this week is SJU senior guard Shelby Smith. Hi. Hi. Thank you for having me. Welcome. Have you seen Take 5 before? You know, I haven't, but I guess I need to start watching it now. I know it's a, it's a very popular segment I, I, across campus. With people you are hosting, talking about I can only imagine. It. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. You've been to a lot of places uh, over the course of your St. Joseph's career, lots of different trips. Favorite place that you visited so far? Um, my favorite place so far, I would say, probably to play is St. Louis. That might seem kind of random and maybe not because it's the only one that we've played in the Midwest, but um, it's kind of the midway point between my house and my grandparents' house. My grandparents live like an hour outside of Dallas, so it's one game that they're always able to come to, and so I'm really looking forward to it this year. Get a little get a little family and friend yeah. rep representation. That's exactly. good. Exactly, yep. How old are uh, Grandma and Grandpa? Um, they're in their late 60s, I would say, so they're getting up there, but they're still, 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 pretty, still, still coming pretty around, and, still pretty and young and chipper. Young and, and spry? Yeah, definitely. Young and spry. They got a lot of spunk left in them. So. Excellent. So yeah. the St. Louis trip, your favorite one that you're looking forward to this year. I was thinking yeah. L.A., you know, <laughs> you know out, out um, around New Year's. I actually, I played for, the summer team I played for became, before I came out here, um, we were actually based in Southern California, California Storm, so I spent a lot of time in the L.A. area, and um, so I am excited to go out there and see some friends out there, but kind of been there. Run into any movie stars when you were out there? Yeah, we actually, we did, um, we'd go shopping in, I don't know if you've ever heard of The Grove. It's a very, it's a very famous uppity little shopping center. It's, and it's probably out of my price range, but yeah. It was I've out of ours of too, but you know window shopping is free <laughs> for everyone. So um, we did that and we saw a couple of celebrities. I don't really remember who, who, exactly who it was, but, but it, it, we was, saw it some. was cool at the moment, It was right? cool at the moment and I didn't get any pictures, but it's okay. Back to travel. Uh, women's team went to Ireland back mm -hmm. in August. What was uh, the biggest cultural difference that you found uh, being over there? Um, you know, I would say people in Ireland and, and the Irish countryside and everything reminded me a lot of home. So for that, for some of the other girls, that might have been a lot of a shock. They were like, oh my gosh, there's farms everywhere, there's cows everywhere. But that was completely normal for me. Um, I would say just the the time difference was was crazy for me where I would be talking to my friends and my family back here and they'd just be starting their day and I'm almost done with mine. You're so down. yes, exactly. So that was very strange. But other than that, like the people were great. They were awesome. They were very nice. They were very hospitable. So it reminded me a lot of home. It take you a couple of days to get adjusted kind of to that time difference? Oh, absolutely. I there? would say that we were not adjusted until probably day five. And then when we got back here, it took me a week. I would say I was going to bed at eight o'clock and getting up at <laughs> seven every morning, which that's not really normal not really for me. Normal. But yeah. So Back to home, other than cows and farmland, biggest difference uh, from Ames, Iowa, and Philadelphia. Um, and other than the massive amounts of people out here right, compared right, to out right. there, um, I would say just the pace of everything. I have to make sure when I go home, I'm a much more aggressive driver, I would say, out here than when I am at home. I have to, when I go home, I have to remind myself I don't. There's not going to be traffic at every stop. Well, every yeah, I was going to say, you, you have to be <laughs> aggressive in Philadelphia. Yes, exactly. you, might, you might not get out alive. Exactly, exactly. And that was a learning curve for me. But I, I got onto it, and I'm, I'm pretty good at it now. But um, I would say when I go home, that's the major thing that I have to concentrate and focus on and be like, relax, Shelf. Like, there's not going to be any traffic. It's okay. So it's one of the major things, I'd say. Biggest misconception that people have about your home state? Um, That it's everyone's a farmer, which it's kind of cliche, but I am a farmer's daughter, so I'm I'm not a very good example of, of it not being all farmers, um, but everyone's not a farmer. There There is at least one urban area. There's cities. It, there's civilization. People I'm, do wear suits to work. People do wear suits to work. Like, there is a grocery store. I don't, I'm not in the middle of nowhere. I'm five minutes to the next town, so. And tell our viewers, Shelby, the state bird of Iowa is? <laughs> the state bird of Iowa is the goldfinch. And the state flower the is? The state flower is the pink rose. So you just learned something, the goldfinch and the pink rose. Yes. Yeah. 
<laughs> You're a Dean's List student uh, at this point, three-time uh, all Big Five academic team. Favorite class that you've had in your time here at SJU? Um, I'm actually, this will be completely surprising for some people, but for those who know me, probably not. Um, I'm actually in a drawing one class right now, and I love that class. I took art all four years of high school, and I love it. I'm, I, I love doing all sorts of different things. I like being creative and using colors and doing can, all that. Can you sculpt, too? You know, that's not me. That's Casey no. Parker. She's more of the 3D okay. artist on our team. I, I would say I'm more painting and crafting and that sort of thing, but that is one of my favorite classes, I would say. What would you want to be more, uh, the school valedictorian or hitting the game-winning shot in a championship game, say it's the A-10, the oh A-10 title game? That's a very... Because you're, you're, you're a big <laughs> academic. And that is a very and difficult question And you're a good shooter, too, from the outside. You, you know, know, that is a very difficult question for me, and I'm just going to say best of both worlds. I would do both on the same day. Okay. I, I would pass that grade that I need to be the valedictorian, and I would hit the game-winning shot on the so same day. And the end of basketball season, <laughs> knock it down, and then a couple months, and then a couple and then a couple months, months later, later, stand on the podium. Just stand on the podium, you know, best of both worlds. Today, Why not? I consider Why myself... Why limit myself to just one? Okay, yeah. excellent. Final question, this is our wild card, the one we didn't necessarily, uh, you know, get you ready for. Okay. Inner squad scrimmage. Yes. Sprints are on the line, winners hit the showers. You need to come up with a stop. Your team's up by a point. Final seconds left. Who's your one teammate that you know you could get a stop on? Who's my one teammate I know I can get a stop on? Um, I don't really have one, you know. I think that's no, weak. No, no it that's weak. weak. It's weak, but it's true, you know. I... I've gotten stops. There's there's any any day where I've gotten a stop on any one person, but then again, there's days where they've gotten me too. So it's kind of a back and forth. It'll it would really depend on the day. We were hoping so. for a post a post practice <laughs> battle would ensue or something like no, that. Maybe a little one on one game. We're trying to create a little rivalry here. I at see practice. that. I see that. But I'm not going to take and bait. You, and you failed miserably not on taking the bait. bait. <laughs> but you did an excellent job on take five. Congratulations Thank and you. good luck this season. Thank you very much. And Hawk fans, of course, you can see Shelby and the St. Joseph women's team. It'll be Sunday, November 11th, right here, Hagen Arena, where the Hawks will take on the Princeton Tigers. 3 o'clock start, and then, of course, the men the next day against Yale at 7 o'clock. For Shelby Smith, I'm Matt Martucci. This is Take 5 on St. Joseph's All Access, and as always, Hawk fans, we see you next week.